Good morning and welcome to Hope for the Family with Evangelist Roy Antonia Eden. God is good all the time. We bless God for keeping us alive to see this beautiful day which he has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. Chats of victory and rejoicing are ahead all the time to attain to the righteous. Glory, hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. We can become self righteous or critical of people around us. Let us examine ourselves. If we find rejoicing in ourselves, then it is not true. God has given us our consciousness to prompt us, to let us know when we are doing things contrary to the will of God. If our consciousness convicts us today that we are doing things that are contrary to the will of God, let us turn back to God to ask for forgiveness in the name of Jesus Christ. If our consciences do not condemn us, then we have confidence to approach God. Amen. Because we are doing good things, things that are giving God pleasure. Amen. Our good deeds in our communities. So today, let us pay attention to what the Spirit within us is telling us about our sins, about our sins, in the light of God's Word. May the light of God shine in our situations today, wherever we find ourselves. May we continue to pursue righteousness. Amen. May we not lean on our own human understanding. Our understanding will fail us. May we lean on God in everything we do today. The wisdom of God, wisdom is crying out to us today. May we not be like the fool that despises wisdom, knowledge and wisdom. May we turn back to God. God rebukes and disciplines the children he loves. May we receive the rebuke and discipline we need from God while we are still here, while we are still alive, so that we can repent of our sins. Amen. God loves the broken and the contrite heart. Let us come to God with broken and contrite heart today, asking for mercy, asking for forgiveness. The grace of God will give us the empowerment we need to live for God, to do good works. The spirit that God has given to us is the spirit of goodness and mercy, the spirit of love. Amen. The spirit of kindness, the spirit that encourages our brothers. We encourage one another. God has made us building blocks in this world. May we build one another up in our faith. Amen. As we place our trust in God, relying on heavenly wisdom to direct the course of human affairs. Glory, hallelujah, amen. In our human wisdom, we will fail if our, our leaders in our nations want to use their human wisdom to do things, they will fail. They will fail, utterly fail. They have to turn to God. Let God lead us. Solomon knew that as a young king, that he needed the wisdom of God to, to lead his people. And he prayed for wisdom. He did not pray for earthly which, uh, wealth, riches, but he asked God to give him wisdom. wisdom. And because he asked for wisdom, God gave him everything that we would ever desire, any of us. So, so today, let us come to God and ask God for wisdom. Let the fear of God be in our hearts. Fear of God, not fear of man. Not the opinion, we are not concerned about the opinion of men. We are not men pleasers, we are the pleasers of God. We cannot please men, we cannot give them, we can never give them enough. As much as you try to please men, men will always demand more from you. You get to a place where you will be depleted of your spiritual energy, your physical energy, when you try to please men. Come to God, who will refresh us every day. You don't attempt to please any man beyond your capacity, your, your ability. The ability that God is giving to you to please people. We can be good to people without trying to get what that word is called I service. Amen. Because when you please people just because you want to please them, you are not being honest with yourself. Amen. Let us be honest with to ourselves. Amen. Today. At least do what we give us pleasure. What we make us to know that truly we are the children of God. What we give our God pleasure. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Do not allow any man to lay a rod of oppression upon you and control you in such a way that you cannot live your life for God or for people in your community, that you cannot enjoy your life in peace that God has given to you. Anyone that you have given yourself to, to control you that way, you need to separate yourself, separate yourself. Let's examine ourselves today. Is anyone taking undue control of our lives? exploiting us in any way are we fearful of men 
do we feel an obligation, obligation in us to always want to please certain people, to please them, because we are fearful of what will happen. We are afraid of them. Today, let us come to God. God who has given us freedom. He has broken every snare. We are flying as birds out of the fallen snare. He has delivered us. Let us come back to God in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the fear of God be in us. Let us teach our children to have a fear of God in their hearts. When they go to their schools and they have a fear of God, they will not become bullies. They will not be hateful against their brothers and sisters in the schools because of their color. Children do not notice those things. Let us not teach them what they should not know. Our children are good and perfect gifts from God, blessed by God. Teach them to love, to enjoy life. Teach them to embrace people. Teach them to wake up every day, to see goodness in every opportunity, every everything around them, to see the hands of God leading them in the name of Jesus Christ. Teach them to learn how to forgive. Siblings which in, in our homes, they fight. Come in as parents to separate them and teach them to accept, how to accept one another. Amen. To be considerate of one another. When we begin to teach our children those skills, life skills in our homes, they will go out and utilize those skills. Amen. Because we've taught them how to live, how to accept their brothers and sisters in their families, how to accept their neighbors, how not to look at the neighbors next door and say, that neighbor, no. They, they hear the things you say. They know how we feel about people. They know us. Amen. Let us Teach our children, even if you have taught them how to hate, how to have minds against people, how to have those bitter thoughts against people, we can begin to teach them today that what we taught them before, they were, they were wrong deeds. They are not things that God wanted us to teach them. Let us be honest to our children, come back today and begin to teach them how to accept people. So we examine ourselves in the light of God's word. They live in half God. We are alive today. We can overturn everything that we have done previously, contrary to the will of God, and begin to write new stories about ourselves today. New stories, stories that we abide, stories that we bear fruit, righteous fruit, stories that we empower somebody to live for God, that we bring somebody to know our God, the God that we have known, the God that we know today, that we have tested and seen its goodness. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Enjoy the goodness of God in the land of the living, wherever you go. Let the Spirit of God lead us in Jesus' mighty and precious name. Glory, hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. This morning, in boldness, we are come before our God, our God who loves us. I'm looking for a passage in the book of James that I want to make reference to this morning. Glory, hallelujah, amen. Glory, hallelujah, amen. We want to be empowered and reminded about what God expects of each one of us. Glory, hallelujah, amen. Our God loves us so much. And may the love of God in us be given to everyone around us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. James chapter 1. I will begin from reading that the entire chapter 1. Amen. I will read some passage verses in chapter 1 because of time this morning. Amen. That James is servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ. To the twelve tribes scattered among the nations, greetings, trials, and temptations. Consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds. What should we do when we face trials? Consider it joy, my brothers, my sisters. When you pass Trials of many kinds that you consider it joy. Why? Because that's when we truly prove that we are the children of God. That's when we truly prove that God has given us extra strength to prevail against every force of darkness. That the wisdom of God is leading us. That's when we show to the world that we are not just like anybody that reacts to situations the way they see it. That we have that kind of spirit of God in us, the peace of God. Consider it joy that we have the opportunity to prove that we are truly the children of God in this situation. That this situation will not swallow us up. That our God is with us, our God will help us. Consider it joy in that trial. 
Look up to heaven and cry out to God for heavenly wisdom. We pass through trials in this world. Consider it joy and teach your children that when they pass through situations in life, they should consider it joy because God is with them. God is with us. Today, we are passing, passing through situations in our nations. Nations of the world are passing through situations that they do not understand. People coming against the nations in a time of peace. The masses are the ones suffering, the ones that do not cause the situations that nations find themselves in. But in every situation, consider it joy. In your family, when people come against you in opposition, in your jobs, when people lie against you, when they come against you, they owe your, your, your promotion. Amen. When they come against you, when they put your name, yeah, your name should not be on the list. They know your name should not be. Consider it joy in the name of Jesus Christ. That's what the word of God is telling us today. That when you pass through different kind of situations in life, temptations, trials, people coming against you, friends turning against you, because I enjoy in the name of Jesus Christ. Because God is going to manifest Himself in your situation. It is joy to pass through whatever situations you find yourself in. Praise God and consider it joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That consider it joy, my brothers. Whenever you face trials of many kinds, many kinds, many kinds of trials, we come. You face trials, I will face trials of many kinds, but it is joy because God has given us the ability to triumph in trials in, trials in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith de develops per perseverance. Amen. Endurance. The trying of our faith will develop perseverance or, or endurance. Amen. We will be able to come to, to overcome. When our faith is tried, in patience we overcome. Not by running away, not by fighting back. Consider it joy. There's a way to fight in a place of prayer. Amen. God fights our battles. His hand is right and is victorious in battle. He knows the situations we are passing through. And he has already made a way for us to escape. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 That whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Amen. Perseverance. That perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Endurance in us or perseverance in us must finish its work to make us mature and complete, lacking nothing. Amen. Patience must do its work. That's the only way we are we attain unto spiritual maturity. But if we belong to those that shrink back, that run away because of trial, and they are and they are destroyed because of unbelief. Amen. We will never attain unto spiritual maturity. But when we press on to the high calling of God in us in Christ Jesus, Jesus, we become mature. We attain unto that image that God wants to see in us. The image of God. Amen. So we must press on. Try as we come. We do not give up because of trials. Press on. We overcome in the name of Jesus Christ. We are, we are in a journey in life. Life's journey. We are moving. When you are in a journey, you move from one point to the other. You do not remain in one place in a journey. We are moving. And as we move, we come through different things, strange things, temptations, trials, deception. By, by, people by biting us, slandering us, doing things against us, saying things against us, robbing us in the mud. Well, let us know from that mode where we consider it joy and we continue patiently looking up to God that our glory will shine forth from that mode in which they have robbed us. The same people that came against us will come back. Amen. They will come back. So we have the, the, the sincerity of heart to come in. Or humble themselves to, to, to ask for forgiveness. Some may not ask for forgiveness, but they will come back in the name of Jesus Christ. Especially when they belong to the children of God and they've been used by the enemy. But if they don't belong, they will leave us. They are separated forever. And they cannot come back in the name of Jesus Christ. But know that you, as a child of God, you must endure. Amen. For you to attain unto spiritual maturity in all of the trials and temptations that you pass through in this world. Consider it joy in the name of Jesus Christ. You may be passing through a trial today. It is joy in the name of Jesus Christ. God is with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Look up and begin to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Empower yourself in a Rebbe Health Center at a place of prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the strength you need from above and move on in life's journey in Jesus' mighty name. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. For you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. That if any of if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault. 
if you lack wisdom. Solomon asked for wisdom. He knew he lacked wisdom to be a leader in such a young age that he, that he became a leader, a king. He knew that he needed wisdom of God. He saw the people, the people he was going to be a king over somewhere much older than him, by far older than him. He needed God. He needed the guidance of God. That if you lack wisdom, you find yourself in a situation where you know that your, your human wisdom cannot help you, that no one can help you. Ask God. Do not, do not be proud. Come to God. Offer yourself and ask for wisdom. That if any of us, we know what we lack today. We know the situations we, we find ourselves in. That if any of us, if we can be honest to ourselves, that we lack wisdom, that we truly need the help of God. Come to God. That if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God who gives generously to all without holding, finding fault. And it will be given to him. God is generous to give to everyone. He gives generously. Ask. Be honest to yourself. Amen. Know what you need. Ask God. Come to God. And God will give it to you. Don't just assume that God knows. God knows. But you must ask. Amen. Because it's in the spoken word that power is released to create situations that we need. And to release, to receive the situations that we, that we need. Amen. Create that word. Speak. Speak life into your situation. Ask God so that you can receive what you need from God. Speak it out in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it not just be within. Speak it out. Create that atmosphere to receive in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That if any of you lacks wisdom, it should ask God who gives generously to all without all finding fault. And it should be given to him. But when he asks, when you ask, amen, this is very important. You don't ask, come asking God when you have doubt in you. Why do you not believe the God you are coming to? Why do you come to God and call him God, God? Why do you come to him and bring your petition before him when you do not believe him? When you have made your own God with your own hands? Why do you come to God? When you have someone else that you think you can trust, place your trust in. When you want to lean on your own human, uh, human understanding. You come to God because you trust God. Do not waste your spiritual energy coming to God if you do not believe God can give to you. Come to God believing. Come with faith purposes. Come to God, believing and receiving. Ask and you will receive because you believe in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory, hallelujah, amen. Let us examine ourselves today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Glory, hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. That issue asks, who, uh, God, who gives generously? We have done that. Glory, hallelujah, amen. That he must believe, but when he asks, he must believe and not doubt. Because he who doubts is like a wave of the sea. He who does is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. That man should not think he will receive anything from the Lord. Do not think you will receive anything from the Lord when you are unstable, like the waves of the wind, blown and tossed by the wind from one end to the other. Amen. Like the waves of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind from one end to the other. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. That that man should not think he will receive anything, anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man or woman or child unstable in all he does. Glory be to God. Unstable, double-minded. Waves of the sea blown and tossed about by the wind. You will not get anything from God. I will not get anything from God. If that's the way I come before my God, I deceive myself. I waste my spiritual energy. I waste my time. Why don't, 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 don't I just go and enjoy myself? Why do I waste my time? Come to God believing. Come to God because you know God. Come to God because God can help you and receive the help you need in Jesus' mighty name. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. That a brother in humble circumstances ought to take pride in his high position. But the one who is rich should take pride in his lowly position. No position is permanent. Do not be proud. Wherever you find yourself, if you are low, be happy there. Take pride in that position and see yourself on top because God is the one that leads us from our lowly estates and places where kings and princes of our people are. Especially when you have placed your trust in God and you believe that God can lift you up, God will lift you up in the name of Jesus Christ. That the one that is high there, do not be proud where you are because it's God that brings people down in the name of Jesus Christ. Where you are, humble yourself before God. Do not lean on your wealth. Do not lean on your own human understanding. Look up to God. Honor God. Humble yourself. Do good works where you are in the name of Jesus Christ. Do not use your position to afflict people. Do not cause confusion in the name of Jesus Christ. Do not be a Godfather in your nation. Causing problems in the name of Jesus Christ. Do good works where you are. 
Oh, Reke Hisson, that in the name of Jesus Christ, do good works. God, it's God that brings people down and lifts up people in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. But the one who is rich should take pride in his lowly position because he will pass away like a like a wild flower. He will pass away, amen, like a wild flower. Especially when the person does not know God, amen. But the righteous will inherit the land, amen. Glory, hallelujah, amen. For the sun rises with scorching it and withers the plant. It blossoms, its blossoms falls, and its beauty, beauty is destroyed. In the same way, the rich man will fade away, even while he goes about his business. Because this rich man does not know God, this rich man is proud. But a rich man that knows God and honors God, we inherit the land. Amen. Because the rich man has humbled himself before God. But in your pride, you are there and you think everything is you. Like and shame that about God said that you are coming down. Like, like, like that flower, like that grass. Amen. You are towered over people like the cedar in Lebanon. You will, be, you, will be, you, will be, you will be utterly destroyed. One day people will ask about you. They will not find you. They will not find you because God has taken control or recognition of the situations that you created, those evil situations. You have been taken, blown away by the wind in Jesus' mighty name. Glory, hallelujah, amen. We praise our God who helps us, amen. That blessed is the man who perseveres on a trial because when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. So the man who, on the, who, who withstands temptation or trial, who perseveres, who endures patiently, passing through trial, that at the end you receive the reward that God has promised you, the crown of glory that God has promised. Amen. The crown of life. Amen. That blesses that man in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That you receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. When tempted, children of the living God, when tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone. No, God does not tempt us. He cannot be tempted by evil. He, did not tempt, he does not tempt anyone. So when we are tempted, then none of us open our mouths and say, God has tempted me. Why did this happen to me? God has given us everything to withstand temptation, to turn our backs away from temptation. Let us know that we are tempted. When we allow ourselves, our loss to carry us away, when we are enticed by the things we see. Amen. By the craving of the flesh, by the pride of life, we want that car we know we cannot buy. We are in government position. We take the money meant for the people to buy the car, to buy 50 cars, to marry 25 wives, to build houses everywhere in the world, to buy mansions in Europe, in different parts of the world, in America. We have foreign accounts everywhere. Pride of life. You want your people to say, oh, that man, that man is on top, that man has so much. Where did the money come from? Is it your money? Pride of life. We want people to see us. They say, yes, this is all. They have, they have arrived. They have it. But where did the money come from? We are tempted because we are taking what we do not have. It, God did not tempt us. We do not control our eyes. We do not control our flesh. We do not control that pride in us to obtain, to get what we should not get. What we know we cannot get, we allowed it. Amen. Let's hear why we are tempted. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. But when tempted, no man should say, God is tempting me. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone. But each one is tempted when by his own desire, by your own desire, by my own desire, am I tempted? My own desire that I've not brought under control. Amen. My own desire that I've not disciplined. I have another desire to take control of me, of how I think, how I do things. Amen. But each one is tempted by his own desire. He is dragged away and enticed. Amen. By your desire, your evil desire, you are dragged away and you are enticed. Then after desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is full grown, gives birth to death. Don't be deceived. Amen. My dear brothers, every good and perfect gift is from above. Every good and perfect gift is, gift is from above. Not the one I take that is not mine. Not the one I take from my nation, from my people that God did not give to me. That's a cost. Anyone embezzling the money for the nations that God did not give to you, you have just placed a cost upon yourself. 
is not for you returning back in the name of Jesus Christ because the word of God says that don't, don't be deceived my dear brothers every good and perfect gift is from above coming from the father of the heavenly lights who does not change like shifting shadows he chose to give us back through the word of truth that we may be a kind of first fruits of all he created see the love of God for us us sinners that he chose to give us faith amen through the word of truth that came through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that we might be a kind of first fruits of all that he created amen so we are good we are perfect in the hands of God May that spirit of goodness, that spirit of perfection, that excellent spirit of God, that spirit of love, that spirit that helps and encourages one, uh, one that we used to encourage one another, continue to dwell amongst us. The spirit of peace, the peace of God, consolation for our brothers and sisters. That's what God has given to us. Every good and perfect gift. We are fruitful in the hands of God. When we continue to walk on the path that God has laid for us. When we continue to uplift the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever we go. And give pleasure to God through our deeds. Today let us turn back to God. God wants us to attain unto spiritual maturity. We cannot attain unto spiritual maturity. When we constantly allow the things around us to take control of our minds, spirit and souls. We are running after material wealth. Forgetting that we need to endure. We need to rejoice and be thankful to God whenever we pass through trials. We do not turn back. We do not allow ourselves to become enticed and entangled in things that have nothing to do with our spiritual life. Today we have come to God. Let us bless Him. Let us thank Him. Let us pray that the fear of God will be in our hearts in the name of Jesus Christ. For the Word of God says in the book of Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, but fools despise not, uh, despise Despite wisdom and discipline, we are not fools. We accept the word of God today. The fear of God will be in us. When the fear of God is in us, we take care of the things of God in this world. Take care of the children of God. Be the children of God wherever we are. That the light of God will shine through us in the entire world in the name of Jesus Christ. This morning, let us lift up our hands in praise to our God and bless Him for His living word that we are fed on. Let us thank Him. There's no God that sin. Lift up His name. Sing a song to Him today. In whatever way the Spirit is prompting you to praise your God today, praise Him. For He is God. There's no God that sin. Thank Him for His word. Thank Him that it does not tempt us that we tend ourselves when we allow ourselves to be drawn away by our own evil desires. Father, we bless you. We thank you. We bless you. We bless you. We thank you that temptation will bring death in the name of Jesus Christ. We separate ourselves from everything, Father Lord, that will make us all become lustful in the name of Jesus Christ. That will make us become pride, in, proud in the name of Jesus Christ. That will make us become arrogant in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, we commit ourselves unto you, Jehovah God. We do not say that we do not, does not belong to us in the name of Jesus Christ. You are our God. We are stable in our ways. We know that you are God who helps us. We have come to you to us because we believe in you you have blessed us so many times you bless us this morning we are bringing our situations before you we lack wisdom we need wisdom we need wisdom we need wisdom we need wisdom in the name of jesus christ flood us with wisdom today let our ears be attuned to the voice of wisdom crying us to us in our families in our corner co 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 in our market squares of god on our jobs in our street corners of god oh let me hear the center of heaven center in the house of god wherever we congregate in your name in our government. Let wisdom lead us today in the name of Jesus Christ. We need wisdom. Oh God Almighty, give our leaders wisdom today to do good works for you. In the name of heaven, send that to take care of your children in our communities. In the name of Jesus Christ, give your children in government wisdom today to lead to the power of Jesus Christ. That they will not be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. is your father that gives salvation to men. Give your children today wisdom to overturn everything they have done in our government contrary to your way. To bow them to your authority. In the name of Jesus Christ, to acknowledge that you are involved in the affairs of men. Oh God Almighty, give our law enforcement wisdom today. Wisdom to do good works in our communities. That there will be a cordial relationship between our law enforcement and our various communities in the name of Jesus Christ. Lead our police force out in your name, in your power, in your might, in your authority today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lead our military out in your name, in your power, in, in your authority, 
your Lord God. In your, in your mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name. Let your city services out today in your name, in your power, in your authority, in your might, oh Lord God. We commit our judiciary to it. Give our, our judiciary to you. Give our judges wisdom to do the will of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Vacate the position of any judge that will not work for you, that will not love humanity. But I arise and let it be a cleansing out of evil from our, from our, our government today, from every institution of government. But I prevail in our mission, let your wisdom direct the cause of human affairs today in the name of Jesus Christ. We commit our children to your hands, oh God. The school system to your hands, the university and college to you, oh God. We commit, Father Lord, the decades to you today. We commit whenever our children we go to, oh, Raka those that are working with present in your hands today as they go to their various places of work today. Jehovah arise to us, let wisdom direct the cause of human affairs today. Oh, help us, deliver us from the from temptation, deliver us, oh God, from the evil force of darkness, oh God. Coming against the nations, oh God. For the heavens, seal the foundation of evil, oh God. Arise and help us. We need your wisdom, Jehovah God. Let it be a cleansing out of all evil from our schools, oh God. Drugs, oh God. Pornography, Father God. People using our children in sense and child labor. People enticing children to run away from their communities. We need some standard, Father, against them today. Shake their, their position, Jehovah God. Release our children from those holding them, Father, and that in the name of Jesus Christ. Break every chain with the, by your mighty power today. Deliver our children from drug addiction, Jehovah God. Deliver them, Father, and Lord, from terrorist sets and from criminal activities. Deliver them from gangs activities in the name of Jesus Christ. Prevail in our community. That's our God and helper. Our children belong to him, Father Lord. Help us this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless us in our families, Jehovah God. Each of our heads above every plan of the wicked today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let shouts of victory be heard in our home. Challenge of rejoicing, Lord of God. Testimony of your faithfulness, of your love, of your goodness to us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help us, Father Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. As you have called us to the ministry of reconciliation. May we, in the white Lord of God, be united with our husband, the only matrimony, and in ministry work. Father, prosper the ministries in our families and communities in the name of Jesus Christ. Let our husbands be priests in their homes, Lord God. Let them teach their children how to have a fear of you in their hearts, Lord God. Father, we bless you. Let the wise Lord God marshal the children in the things of God. Father, we thank you that no weapon fashion against us in our families will prosper. We have met you today in the elevation of beauty. You are doing great works for us in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for the salvation of the souls of everyone in our families, Father Lord, and our extended families in the name of Jesus Christ. We pull down strong we come against the spirit of unbelief. Jehovah God, all your children, help us, Father Lord. Father, whenever we pass through various kinds of temptations and trials in our families, let us count it joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us try joy because the trying of our faith, oh Lord God, remain hymns and we produce endurance. Oh God Almighty, for perseverance with most foolish is causing us to make us mature and complete, lacking nothing in the name of Jesus Christ. May we attain, oh Lord God, to sweet up maturity in the name of Jesus Christ. Help us God. Bless us God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Overturn every plan of the wicked, Jehovah God. Give us patience to endure in the name of Jesus to endure hardship. Whatever we come against us, let us press back. Give us inner strength to leap over uh, interests in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every war, every mountain be cast off from our path today. Every hindering spirit be brought down by the power of the living God. We come against you, you force of darkness within families, you strange gods, strange altars, Witches and wizards, all racket shender, you magicians, we come against you, you spirit of your court, you evil ones that have conjured up spirits against the children of God, we come against you in the name of Jesus Christ, we pull down your strongholds, we frustrate you, we come against you, you destroy oracles and going to the wrong places, and God is a living oracle in the name of Jesus Christ. What we have an oracle in our eyes against the wickedness of the evil forces of darkness in our families and other healings in our communities. We speak this day as the oracle. Of God against your oracle. We will not call conspiracy the way you call conspiracy. We are the children of God. We will not go to millions. We have come to our God. We will not evoke the spirit of the dead, the, of the dead, but the spirit of the living. For our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is alive today. You let the blood of Jesus Christ begin to speak on our behalf. We invoke all of God, the spirit of the living today. Let the blood of Jesus Christ begin to speak on our behalf. Let the blood of Jesus Christ approach every evil work done against us and our families in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the power of the Holy Spirit descend upon the tent of the enemy trying to attack us in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the living word of God prevail against every force of darkness. Hold that the hands of those who are not are coming against their own families in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them be shaken and brought down. Let them find no place to hide. Let their evil oracles return upon their heads, Lord God. Let the fire of God descend upon the tent of the priest, Lord God. Train oracles for them. Let them be disgraced. Let them be brought down. Let them be swallowed up by their own evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, let them be cleansed out of evil from our Father's land, Lord God. I present to you, we present to you this morning, everyone in our Father's household, our brothers and sisters, 
our uncles and aunties, everyone, our cousins and nieces and nephews. In the name of Jesus Christ, 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 in the
against you. You have been brought down by the power of the living God. The power of the living God is set upon your territory. The blood of Jesus Christ is speaking against you. You cannot carry out your evil works in the house of God. You cannot order the children of God in any form of spiritual intimidation. We release the children of God this morning. Father, we thank you that your children are standing in their right position and pressing back, and pressing back against the forces of darkness. They are doing great works for you in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for breakthrough. We thank you for miracles of healing, of deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for signs and wonders being done in the hands of God. That we belong to those that worship you in spirit and truth, uh, in truth, in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you that we are gathered in your name, in your name, that you enjoy the presence of your children. Father, we thank you for your spirit leading the church, Father Lord. We thank you for the unity of the Holy Spirit. We come against everything causing division, scattering, and all living heavy sin that's stealing from us in the name of Jesus Christ. We restore back to the house of God everything the men of violence do by force in the name of Jesus Christ. By your mighty power, the church must prevail against the force of darkness. God, great works must be done in the nations, Lord God. The earth must be filled with the knowledge of God as the waters over the oceans in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, God. We bless you, God, that we are moving forward in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for revival in the hands of God. That the church will be in the forefront of the things, Lord God. That should be done in the nations, Lord God. Revival in our nations, Lord God. In the name of Jesus Christ. That the church will speak to the nations, leaders in the nations without being fearful, without being pleasers of men, but pleasers of God in the name of Jesus Christ. We give you a clap offering as we present the church council to you. That the church comes to be comes to be united in one spirit and in one purpose in Christ. We come against every spirit, every spirit causing confusion. Father, we flood the churches with the blood of Jesus Christ. You are God. We come against lying spirit. Every spirit of deception, we pull you down by the power of the living God. Father, prevail in our midst, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for the gifts you have given to us in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah God, for all you will do through us in Jesus' mighty name. We bless you for your Holy Spirit. Be that exalted in our midst, our Father. Thank you, Jehovah God, for so coming to the kingdom. Thank you for people renouncing foreign religion and turning to you. Thank you, Jehovah God, for people telling us that as of God, so Lord God, telling us status in communities, all about dedicated to your court. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are our Father. We may be sent that Rakov Shinda. We may be sent that Rakov Shinda. We bless you, God, in Jesus' mighty name. We commit unto your hands today, our means of transportation. Oh, Rabakov Shinda, the roadways all about God, the waterways in the name of Jesus Christ. The air, trees, and all about God, as your Rehib, send that Rakov we may be sent that we walk around our communities. Jehovah God, to every heavy center, preserve our souls from evil. In the name of Jesus Christ, help us, Lord God, deliver us from evil. In the name of Jesus Christ, let all the angels stand in the borders of our nations, in the seaports, in the airports. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God Almighty, do the work that you alone can do in our midst, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, as the mighty encompasses around Jerusalem, encompass around us and our nations, even now and forevermore. You are our God, we bless you. We pray for peace in Jerusalem. As we pray for peace in Jerusalem, so we will. We, 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 we will receive the peace of God in our communities. So we will prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are God and helper. Be that exalted in our midst today. In Jesus' mighty and precious name, we have prayed. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord reigns. Better be our God. May the rock of our salvation be exalted. May our God be exalted in our midst today. In the name of Jesus Christ, He has refreshed us this morning. Our God is faithful. He will provide all our needs in the name of Jesus Christ. We have come before a God that can help us. Let us be encouraged today. Rekindle your hope. Keep hope alive. God will not fail us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You are blessed. God bless you. We love you too. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen.